My view about college is it's learning how to think critically, read, write, grow up, and challenge yourself academically as opposed to a specific skill set. So I think as long as you focus on that, sports do take a lot of time and most people who compete at the elite level have to make the decision. In my case, I definitely decided I'd rather do sports first and do my academics second. But I think that passion is very important and has made me very successful both in business as well as in academics. The hardest part about starting my own company is until two weeks before we started it, the thought had never crossed my mind of starting a business. I'm an accidental entrepreneur. And I think that happens, frankly, with a lot of women where we find ourselves in the situation, and I had several large clients when I quit my former job who said, form your own business and we'll move the assets. I didn't believe that was gonna happen. I hadn't planned on that happening. I just decided I could no longer stay where I was. And so that's, I took advantage of the opportunity with a lot of encouragement from friends and family. I have a very strong view that having been a senior woman earlier, I'm certainly not a pioneer. I follow a lot of strong women, but I'm still earlier than a lot of people. And so I've had some opportunities opened to me, but I've also, I think, suffered some discrimination on that side. I'm looking for the best person. And what I want to do is be very warm and opening, make sure we have diverse pools and pick the best candidate. And we've actually found, for example, our firm, prior to we merged a year ago, a third of the partners were women, which for an asset management firm is incredible. But each one of them is there, not because they're a woman, it's because of the skills that they can provide. And I think when you are either a woman or an underrepresented minority, you get sometimes a mixed message. And our message is we want you because of who you are. I go back a long ways. I started my life as a programmer. So what we've seen in the 90s was beginnings of AI, but it didn't really go very far. Now we're seeing a real renaissance as we're starting to see these techniques move into their own. We're seeing several big investment companies and hedge funds move into it. And it makes sense, processing data in a more efficient way to lower costs overall. I think it's very important in the future, and I've donated a lot of money to the poorest school district in Orange County. It's important because they lost their backing to send children to science camp. For many of these children who are in sixth grade, this is the first experience away from home, focusing on science. Most of them are free lunch kids. I want to make sure that educational opportunity is open to as many people as possible.